Hi guys, welcome back to YouTube channel natin. Now today, I'll be recording a short video as a guide on how the students can actually take their online exams. Now, by students guys, I'm addressing this video para sa mga students sa Visabilia Engineering Review Center and pati na din sa mga college students ko sa CIT if ever gagamitin namin yung uh, platform na to. Okay? So, yeah, let's start. Yeah. Bale, yung platform na gagamitin natin guys is itong tinatawag na ZipGrade. So, I think uh, if ever uh, na yung instructor niyo is gumamit na nito. So, I think familiar na kayo. Na itong ZipGrade guys, actually, ito yung uh, ito yung app na ginamit ko uh, sa previous times namin. Yung regular pa yung uh, setup. Okay, yung face-to-face -face pa. Kasi uh, maganda to kasi you can actually easily check no yung mga exams especially pag multiple choice yung exams uh, picturean mo lang and then yun nga makukuha mo na agad yung scores now uh, because of the pandemic nag-adapt din sila since alam nila na wala nang physical exams na yun nga is uh, yung shading yung uh, exam tapos yun nga submit niyo sa instructor niyo and then picturean lang nila so they actually adapted din so meron silang option no, uh, that the student can actually take their uh, their online i mean yung exams nila na multiple choice din. Okay? So, ito nga lang yung pangit dito kasi you can actually just give exams na multiple choice lang para sa platform na to. Okay? So, again, ito yung gagamitin natin, ZipGrade. So, bale, ang ZipGrade, guys, ang ginagamit lang natin dito is internet browsers. Now, uh, gaya ng sabi ko, no, meron tayong app, but the app is only useful no, para sa mga instructors. Okay? Uh, yeah, I think sa instructors lang. Now, sa mga students, you can just use the internet browsers for the online exam. So, I think familiar na tayo no? sa mga internet browsers dyan. So, you have uh, Google Chrome, Mozilla, Internet Explorer, or yung bago natin na uh, Microsoft Edge. Now, uh, yung mga cell phones niyo actually pwede din yung mga Android phones niyo uh, meron kasi silang sarili din nilang uh, internet browser. So, you can actually still use that. Kasi dito sa ZipGrade, we are just interested no, sa website. Okay? So, walang app. Ito yung maganda kasi you do not need to download an app. Okay? So, check na natin. So, ito pala yung website natin. Yan, zipgrade.com slash s. Now, again guys, do not forget ito. ito huwag nyo kalimutan yung slash s. Okay? Kasi pag walang slash s, you'll be redirected sa main page talaga or sa main uh, website talaga sa ZipGrade which is yun nga para sa mga instructors. Now, uh, itong website na to na may slash s, this is actually a student portal. Okay? So, student portal yung makikita nyo tapos dun nga, uh, from that portal, dun ninyo, dun kayo magtitake sa exam. Okay? So, check natin dito. Actually, uh, nagpunta na ako dito no, sa website. Uh, check nyo daw. So, ito yung website na makikita ninyo. Tinan nyo, zipgrade.com slash s. So, pag itagin niyan sa browser ninyo, so ito yung makikita ninyo. Tama ba sa slide ko? Check na natin. Yep. So, dito kayo guys, dito kayo magla-login. Ito sa login to student portal. So, balik tayo dito. Yan. Yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong dalawang uh, columns dito. No? Ito. Okay. At saka yung nasa right. So, ang isa is access open submit quiz. And then, yung isa is to login sa student portal ninyo. Now, ito open submit quiz. Uh, this is only for a parang, uh, parang parang survey or general na exam. Okay. Without uh, considering yung mga names ng students. Okay. So, anyone can take uh, this type of quiz. Now, we are not interested in that. Kasi dito sa review or sa, uh, yun nga, sa CTU, ang kailangan natin is yung, uh, kailangan natin yung name ng students. Okay. At saka yung performance ng student din. Okay, so kaya kailangan ninyo yung zip grade student ID and student access code. Now, for the students sa uh, Visibilia Engineering Review Center, okay, you'll be emailed or contacted directly no, sa, uh, sa management. Okay, and then they will give you your student ID and student access code. So every student has, it, has his or her own student ID and student access code. Uh, same goes sa mga students ko din. Okay, so don't worry guys, if ever gagamitin natin to. Uh, bibigyan ko kayo ng student ID and student access code na magagamit niyo for this website. Okay? So ako, uh, naggumawa lang ako ng dami na account. Okay? So dami students. So ito yung zip grade student ID ko at saka ito naman yung uh, student access code ko. So yun lang. Uh, login ka sa zipgrade.com slash s. Again, huwag nyo kalimutan na ang slash s. Kanina yung slash s. Yan. And then you'll be redirected to this page. And then, login ka lang. Now, assuming na meron ka ng student ID and student access code, so, login natin. So, login ko muna yung student ID ko, tsaka student access code. 
Yan. Okay? So, once naka-login ka na, guys, ito yung makikita mo. Yan. Uh, of course, yung logo. And then, meron tayong student portal. Again, this is for the students. Okay? So, ito yung pangalan ko, Marvin Ibora. And then, yung student ID ko. Yan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5. Okay? By the way, yung student access code, naalala nyo, ito, ito. Yan. So, this is just a randomly generated code. So, sila yung magbibigay, yung app mismo yung magbibigay niyan. Tapos, ito, pwede kami na lang magbigay ng student ID. Okay? So, kaya huwag kayong magtaka kung bakit uh, medyo mahirap i-memorize. Kaya ang ginagawa ko is sinesave ko sa notepad and then yun nga, copy-paste na lang yung code kasi mahirap talaga i-memorize. Okay, so anyway, ito yung makikita nyo. If meron ng quiz na na-post yung instructors ninyo, okay, or yung management ng review center, so ang gagawin lang natin is to check if meron ba. So, kung mapapansin nyo, makikita ba? Tama. So, meron tayong, meron akong ginawang sample quiz dito. Kaya yung sample online quiz, yan. And then, yung class natin is, of course, uh, Visibilia Online Review. And then, notice na meron tayong dalawang timestamps dito. We have the start and an end. Yan. So, yung start, guys, is 2020, uh, ano yan, 6-1? Ano ba yung 6? June? June 1? June, June, sorry. June 1, 2020. So, 11 a.m. You can take the exam at any time between these two intervals. Ito. Yan. From here to here, yung isa is 20, ano yan, 2021. So, within that span of time, no, pwede kang mag-take sa exams. Now, I mean sa exam, but that doesn't mean na yan din yung total time limit mo. Ibig sabihin lang yan is, uh, between those times, yan, yung dalawang times na yan, you can take the exam, but once you start taking the exam, ito yung time limit mo. Yan. So, ito yung time limit mo. Now, by the way, this is in minutes, hindi lang... So, hindi lang nailagay dito. No? So, this is actually in minutes. So, you have 120 minutes or 2 hours to finish the exam. So, be careful kasi pag nag-click, pag i-click mo to, yung begin quiz, automatic, no? uh, the time limit will actually start. Now, I think, uh, wait, check muna natin. So, i-click ko muna yung begin quiz, guys. So, again, ha? Uh, meron kang makikita ditong column na quiz, yung class, at saka itong uh, time intervals, kung kailan uh, pwede kang mag-take sa exam, and then of course yung time limit mo. Now, I'll just click begin quiz if ready ka na, and then pag-click mo yan, uh, okay, so hindi pa pala magsisimula yung time mo, meron pang mga additional instruction, okay, so usually uh, dito, sa ang nilalagay lang dito no, is yung, uh, yung nga, additional instructions na siguro, but uh, generally yung, the rest of the instructions are actually posted sa uh, sa exam, sa questionnaire pala, okay, so, anyway, just click begin quiz now. Ito pala. Pag i-click mo tong begin quiz now, doon na magsisimula yung time limit mo. So, make sure na meron kang internet once i-click mo yung begin quiz now para mag-load agad yung questions. Okay? Or yung questionnaire. So, i-click natin yung begin quiz now. Ayan. So, ito na. So, this is actually a sample exam, no? Sa Bisabilia uh, Review Center no? In para sa batch 2019. Ito lang yung ginamit ko. Okay, this is actually sa... Uh, Geohydro na exam. Yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, parang regular lang talaga yung setup. Hindi gaya ng ibang mga platforms na uh, you cannot actually uh, skip. Diba? Kaya ang iba kasi, uh, diba, yung mga Google Forms, you can, uh, hindi ko lang alam ha, but sa, pag, uh, uh, sa tingin ko kasi, yung mga ibang platforms kasi you cannot actually skip. Okay? Or, uh, yun nga, uh, pa isa-isang questions or yung situations yung makikita mo. Unlike dito sa platform na to, you can actually check Ito yung buong paper mo, yan. Yung questionnaire. So, kung mapapansin nyo, this is actually a 30-item quiz. Yan. So, ito yung first page. Now, again, huwag nyo kalimutan na if ever, uy, sir, bakit hanggang uh, 13 lang? So, click nyo lang dito. Meron tayong next page dito. Dito din sa baba, meron din. Ayan. So, click natin yung page 2. So, ito yung page 2, guys. Okay, general exam pala to. May, meron kasi yung mathematics. Yan. So, ito yung page 2. So, you can freely browse no, yung questionnaire ninyo. Yan. And then, you can solve any number. Kung medyo nahirapan kayo sa number 1, you can skip. And then, proceed sa number 2. Okay? Now, uh, sa left side or sa left part ng, uh, ito, ito, ng website natin, dito na yung answer, uh, answer sheet ninyo. Yan. Yan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, uh, zip grade quiz name, sample online quiz, zip grade ID, yung name natin, yung time remaining, tingnan nyo. So, this is actually updated ha? and then autosave is actually on. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nito? If ever kasi mawawalan kayo ng internet, uh, yung, uh, if ever hindi kayo makasubmit, yung last items na na-click ninyo, yan, for example, nag-click kayo ng apat, 
Okay, you, you actually answered four problems and then wala yung internet ninyo. So, ito lang yung masisave. Okay? Now, do not worry guys. You do not need an internet all throughout the exam. Yung two hours ba? Kailangan mo lang ng internet. Number one is yun nga, pag iload mo yung problem. Obviously, kailangan mo ng internet pag iload mo itong uh, questionnaire, yung problems natin. So, itong page na ito kailangan mo. But, ah, uh, I-load mo lang yung next question, I mean yung next page, halimbawa ito. Once na-load mo na yan, kahit mawalan ka ng internet uh, during sa exam, it doesn't matter. Okay, bakit? Ang importante lang is meron kang internet from the start, okay? Yung na-load mo to and then yung magsasubmit ka na. Okay, so during these two hours, you can actually, uh, pwede mo i-off yung data mo para hindi ka na, uh, ano tawag doon, para makasave ka, okay? And then, just uh, continue answering the exam. And then, once na-select mo na lahat, for example, I'll just answer this randomly, guys. So, obviously, we will fail this exam. So, answer lang ako randomly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yan. Answer ako randomly. So, once nasagutan ko na lahat, doon, kailangan ko na ulit ng internet. Why? Of course, to submit my, ito, ito, yung answer sheet ko. Okay, so, Click on again, so I'll click submit and I mean review and submit to teacher yan. So actually hindi mo pa na submit yan, so review pa lang to. So kung mapapansin nyo meron tayong review, minsan kasi uh, may, mga pra, may mga numbers ka na na-skip or may mga double, double answers ka sa isang problem. So it's better to check dito sa part na to. Ayan. So i-check mo and then yun nga, since okay na ata to. So yun na, uh, submit tayo sa, submit na natin. Yeah. Okay, so once na submit mo na guys, ito yung maganda kasi uh, meron ka, meron ka agad, uy, bagsak na bagsak. <laughs> meron ka agad score guys. So yan, you have earned points is actually 8. So yung possible points natin is 30 points. So yung percent correct natin is actually just 26.7. So obviously bagsak na bagsak tayo kasi nga random lang. But ito yung uh, best part natin yan. Okay, zoom ko muna. Pwede ba ito? zoom natin. Yeah. You can actually, uy, sobra. Yan. You can actually check kung saan ka nagkamali. Yan. Yan. Pwede mong i-check guys kung saan numbers ka nagkamali. For example, sa number 1, tama tayo sa number 1 na A yung sagot. Okay? Sa number 2, tama rin tayo na B. Now, sa number 3, mali ka kasi yung... May, mali pala ako. Mali ako kasi yung answer ko is letter B. Okay? So, siguro A, C, or D. D, E. Siguro yung sagot nun. Na don't worry... As an instructor, no, obviously, bibigyan kayo ng, ano ba, bibigyan kayo ng answer key nito kung ano yung sagot para ma-review ma ninyo, especially sa mga students natin sa uh, Sabilia Engineering Review Center. Obviously, bibigyan kayo ng answer key to review your, uh, yung mga sagot ninyo. Now, yung file sa quiz, actually, bibigyan din kayo, but baka isipin nyo, sir, um, paano yan, sir? Alam ko kung ano, saan ko na nagkamali. Pwede, meron mong paraan, sir, to go back to the yung uh, questionnaire natin. So, actually, unfortunately, dito, uh, you cannot actually go back. So, usually, guys, ang sinasuggest ko sa mga students, okay, sa review at saka sa mga college students ko is just screenshot nyo na lang while actually taking the exam. Try to screenshot yung page kanina. Screenshot nyo. Nakalimutan ko. Papakita ko sana. So, screenshot na lang or snip ninyo, okay, para meron kayong copy sa questionnaire habang, I mean, uh, to review your answer dito. Kasi uh, after nito, baka siguro it will take siguro a day or two days before bibigyan kayo ng copy ng questionnaire. Kasi kailangan kasi ma lahat makatake muna before bibigyan ng copy ng questionnaire. Okay? So, uy, nakalimutan ko nang ipakita kanina. Sandali, sandali. Balik tayo. Yan, review to. Uh, balik tayo dito. So, by the way, guys, uh, yung exam natin, you can only take the exam once. Okay? Obviously, you can take the exam once kasi pag... Alam, take kayo ulit, alam nyo na kung saan, saan kayo nagkamali. Now, dito sa type ng exam na to, since this is just a sample quiz, I can actually take several times. No? So, again, take ako ulit, may papakita na ako sa inyo. Okay, and ito ha. So, again, try to, kung mapapansin nyo, you cannot actually save this document. So, uh, I suggest, no, na screenshot nyo na lang, use a snip, yung snipping tool ninyo, yan. You can use this tool, or kung ano man yung tool na alam ninyo. So, or screenshot na lang, mas, ma mas madali siguro pag screenshot para may copy kayo at ma-review nyo agad yung questions. Now, dito pala guys, yan, meron tayong uh, answer key, version A, okay? So, for the students sa uh, review, uh, I think isang set lang ata or dalawang set lang siguro. Anyway, uh, 
uh, it is assumed no, na hindi kayo mag-cheat kasi oh, obviously hindi kayo mag-cheat kasi pag nag-cheat kayo during this exam, during this online exam, it's just like cheating yourself kasi you're doing this para sa inyo din naman. Now, sa students ko, sa mga college students ko, ibang usapan na, no? So, to avoid cheating, uh, I can actually create uh, several uh, uh, versions or uh, sets, no? I can actually create 5 to 10 sets, depende lang sa akin. Now, yun nga lang, uh, hindi, ako yung, uh, hindi ako yung my power, no? To select kung ano yung set ninyo. Actually, yung app lang. Yung ra random lang talaga yung app. So, siguro, uh, pag chinect mo to, uh, Siguro pag nag-take ka, first take mo is uh, set C and then yung quiz to mo, siguro set D ka na, ganun. So, random lang talaga. So, sila lang yung uh, may alam kung ano yung set. Anyway, I'll just upload yung mga uh, uh, files dito. Okay? So, I think yan lang ata guys. So, mm, check, uh, check lang natin ulit. Try natin na lang. Yan, kung mapapansin nyo, oh, nakita rin na may na-skip tayo. So, me to teacher. Yan, so 3 over 30. Okay? So, I think yan lang ata. Check na natin. Yeah. So, yan lang yung gagamitin nyo, guys. And then, yung uh, automatic meron na kayong score. And then, you can actually check kung saan kayo nagkamali. So, ang downside lang dito, guys, is yung uh, multiple choice lang yung uh, may bibigay na exams dito. And, yun nga, uh, you cannot... Uh, you cannot secure a copy of the questionnaire unless you screenshot mo or you get, you use the snipping tool or kung anong tool man yan yung gagamitin ninyo. Yan. Uh, meron din pala kaming option, guys, to conduct an item analysis sa quiz na ibinigay namin. Now, this item analysis is actually a very good tool, no? Uh, to assess yung performance ninyo. And of course, to assess din yung uh, performance ng quiz namin. So, uh, this is actually a a sample item analysis sa previous quiz. Okay, so sa previous review. So kung mapapansin ninyo, uh, meron tayong score distribution dito. So makikita namin kung uh, marami ba yung nakakuha ng malalaking score or kaunti lang ba. Okay, and then saan yung parang bold, okay, ng mga scores na nakuha. And then kung mapapansin ninyo dito sa left side, makikita din namin kung ano yung number na may pinakamaraming nagkamali. Okay? Likewise, yun din yung number na may pinakamaraming nakakuha ng uh, tamang sagot. And then, dito din makikita din namin yung alternative answers. Yung mga answers na uh, kung ano yung sinagot nila, tsaka kung bakit nagkamali sila, ganun. And then, ito yung pinakagusto ko. We have the discriminant factor. Now, itong discriminant factor, guys, uh, sa mga hindi nakakalam, this is actually a very useful na factor, no? Uh, para ma-describe yung question na ibinigay namin. So, pag malaki kasi, uh, this is actually from negative 1 to 1. So, pag uh, malaki yung discriminant factor namin, so, especially pag no, nasa 5 pataas na, so, medyo maganda yung uh, napakaganda ng question namin. Now, if uh, by maganda, I mean, maganda yung pagkagawa ba ng question kasi na-separate talaga yung, uh, ay, anyway, I will not even go in detail na lang dyan. So, basta pag malaki, uh, kaunti na lang, I mean, pag malaki yung number, like from 0.2 pataas, maganda yung question. And then pag negative, uh, doon na medyo may mali na sa question namin. Either mali yung pagka-phrase uh, pagka ng question, okay, or may kulang sa, uh, sa given, baka ganun. So for example, tingnan nyo, dito, yung number 1 dito, negative 0.143, uh, see? So medyo, medyo questionable yung question, uh, questionable yung question. Medyo questionable yung problem dito kaya we'll try to review and then check kung tama ba talaga yung binigay namin na answer key or tama ba talaga yung question na naibigay namin. Baka may mali kasi. So, yan lang uh, Anyway, uh, we'll be giving you the student ID and student access code as soon as uh, pwede na. Okay? So, and then sa mga students ko din, don't worry, ibibigay ko din sa inyo ha, privately yung student ID and student access code niyo para kalang, kayo lang yung maka-access. Okay, so yan lang ata guys. Uh, maraming salamat sa panonood. And uh, if ever meron kayong mga tanong, uh, itry nyo lang i-comment sa iba ba. Okay, so maraming salamat sa panonood. And of course, see you sa next video natin.